Can you tell me anything about the columns? I know that they're big. Do you have any other brilliant questions? Goodbye. I ain't gonna buy any of you, huh? My teeth will be exploding. Far too loud, isn't it? What's this place? What the fuck? Ah! Oh, I'm doing a little dance now. What are you doing? Museum. I'm sorry. I'm far too busy to chat right now. Okay. Wow, box art. I mean, historical paintings. Corner one. Corner two. Was my three, was my four, was my five, was my six, and not the black gate. Oh my god. Uh, don't... That's got a tash. That isn't supposed to be me. Is that supposed to be like Dupre? Oh, no, the adventurer. Well, I don't have a tash. Shamino, yes. Okay. Spirituality is the embodiment of the virtues for our tradition associated with the city of Scarabray. Through and along with the sigil, the spirituality and the answer can be used to gain insight to the true meaning of spirituality. It appears that all been stolen. Greetings, sir. Keep moving. There's apart from all the runes have been stolen. Like the biggest symbol of the fucking faith of the entire world. Knights of Legend. Sigalion, uh, yes. Knights of Legend was another orange game. Or orange? Origin game. Where the main character was uh, Segaleon, who we actually met. I can't remember. Is it Ultima 6? Segaleon is in? I believe it is. Hail to thee. Sorry, can't talk right now. God, it's really loud in here and all. Fellowship Medallion, Medallion symbol for the Fellowship, a very popular organisation that thrived during the early days of the Age of Enlightenment. It's later discovered that the founder of this fellowship, Batman, had been influenced by the Guardian. This revelation quickly led to a disillusion of the organisation. Oh, yeah. Talisman of Infinity. The concept of infinity is the embodiment of the Avatar. The Avatar created this powerful talisman of infinity in the Forge of Virtue on Lost Fire Isle during the early years of the Age of Enlightenment. It's like a recap of my entire life. The Black. Oh, the badge of Blackthorn. Symbol used during the reign of the usurper Blackthorn to identify his trusted followers. The Black Bear. Vortex cube. Isn't it? Oh, yes. Using the power of this cube, the Gargoyles were able to bring the Codex of Ultimate Wisdom to their land. It was later used by the Avatar to return the Codex to the Ethereal Void and allow both humans and Gargoyles to share its wisdom. Not really a cube, though, is it? Mundane Skull. Skull of the notorious Mundane, the evil wizard who threatened our land during the First Age of Darkness. That would be the skull of Mundane that I threw into the fucking volcano and destroyed. Silver Horn, sounded by the stranger at the shrine of humility during his quest to become the Avatar. Powerful token has the power to ward off demons, so remember now. Oh, 
Blue tassel, valuable talisman used by the stranger to earn passage on ships during the Mayan's invasion. Yes, you needed tassels in order to sail ships. Cards of Exodus. These four cards, love, soul, moon and death, used by the stranger to defeat the evil Exodus. Certainly did. Coggins Fang, one of the few relics from the Avatar's exile to the land of Pagan. This powerful dagger helped the Avatar to survive his struggle to become the Titan of Ether. How the fuck they know that? Because I just got here. And how they got hold of the dagger, since I left it in uh, Mithran's house. Altara Scepter. This powerful scepter was created by the mage Altara to counter the power of the Guardian's Blackrock Gem, Ultimate Underworld 2. Except it was purple. You know, because it was made out of an amethyst rod. Plans of HMS Gigantic, the grandest ship ever built. The Gigantic tragically sank on its maiden voyage. This first, the ship was recovered by Lord British when he led an expedition to examine the wreckage. Serpent Spine Prayer Scarf. This prayer scarf was used by a rare, peaceful tribe of goblins that lived deep in Serpent Spine Mountains. Lord British was given this scarf when he saved the life of the chief and son on one of his many exploratory expeditions. Okay. Hello. Hello. So. Here hands the tapestry of ages. This magical work tells the story of the Avatar from the age of darkness to the age of virtue. And even foretells the future in this age of enlightenment. So here it is. It is big. The evil wizard Mundane defies Lord British and seizes control of Britannia. Known at the time as Sosaria. I was about to correct you there. Mundane creates the gem of immortality to solidify his future as supreme evil overlord. A traveler from another world travels back through time to destroy the gem and Mundane. Mundane's lover, Minax, vows revenge upon the Traveler and Cesaria and rebuilds Mundane's evil empire. Minax masters the ways of the Moon Gates and summons evil beasts to ravage the Traveler's world and people across time. I was about to say, make sure you actually mention it's Earth. Again, the stranger saves his world and ours, Hello. defeating Minax in her legendary castle. I am of legend. So, will you piss off? I will kill you. Exodus, the foul progeny day, of Mundane and Minax, begins the most wicked tyranny to befall our land. What? Even more so than Blackthorn? Exodus masters more evils than his forebears and ravages the land for the third time. For the third time, the Traveler returns and vanquishes the last of this evil triad. But I didn't do it with a spear on a mountaintop. Lord British unites Cesaria as Britannia and issues and a proclamation never that old, seeking that the point. champion of virtue. The Traveler returns and sets forth through Britannia to gain insight and prove himself in the ways of virtue. The Traveler is proclaimed the Avatar for his own purity and for showing our people the path of virtue. Afflicted by the evil Shadow Lords, Lord British's trusted Regent Blackthorn declares martial law. You didn't mention that Lord British has actually gone missing. The Avatar and his eight companions struggle against the tyranny of Blackthorn's Inquisition. Lord British is saved, and Blackthorn is banished to the ethereal plane for his crimes. 
He didn't know he was banished to the ethereal plane. He was banished to an unknown destination. The Avatar is brought to Britannia by gargoyles bent upon his destruction. Who are the gargoyles? In our darkest hour as a people, we slaughter most of the gargoyle race in an act of genocide. The Avatar uncovers the secret of the gargoyle prophecies and brings peace between our people. As some in Britannia prosper, Batlin gathers the discontented masses for the Guardian. The Avatar stops the Guardian from entering Britannia by destroying the Black Gate. Dupre is lost as he sacrifices himself to save our world from the Guardian's grip. Actually, it's Serpent Isle. The Avatar is taken to the world of Pagan, a land perverted by the Guardian. How do you know this? The Avatar faces a land and people who cannot be converted to the ways of virtue. In order to escape, the Avatar uses the powers of darkness, summoning Pyrus, the Titan of Fire. The Avatar will return after the Guardian has appeared in Britannia. Oh, the future. The Guardian will rip Britannia asunder with giant evil columns. The Avatar will ascend beyond mortality never to return to Britannia again. Well, shit. Well, so you actually get a copy of that in the uh, um, the box. Uh, it's about, I don't know, not that big. You just get a copy of the tarot cards and a cloth map, of course. Can not have a cloth map. Hello. Hello. Mm, little one. Those are icky. Really? My dad said he killed a dragon once. I bet my daddy could beat you up. Go away. I bet my daddy could beat you up. Transparent leg. That's quite terrifying. I'm sorry, but I don't talk to strange men. Okay. Safe travels, did he? Strange man. Old British castle just appearing out of the fog. There is a um, like a, a way to edit the ini file, which like increases view distance and things, which I tried to do, and it just crashed the Excuse game. Excuse me, what did you say? I said, idiot. You call me an idiot? Oh no, no, it's that pathetic partner of mine. That damn fool of a miller went and caught his arm in the millstone, and got carted off. Sorry, <laughs> my name is Jastro. I'm the baker here in Britain. I don't mean to be rude. Rude. I'm just very upset. But what am I supposed to do? Dude. The miller got carted off. Serves the fool right. But where is your compassion? Compassion? Is it compassionate to ask the poor people of Britain to go without bread because some off was foolish enough to stick his arm in the millstone? Compassion indeed. The mayor is right. We simply need to get rid of those who can't pull their weight. Well, what? The, the mayor is getting rid Yes, of course. It's all part of his policy to clean up the city and make it safe. And I support it. I mean, look what's happened to me. I can't bake bread because the miller was stupid enough to hurt himself. Why should we coddle someone that we can't rely on to do his share? I must be on my way, Baker. Farewell. Farewell, Avatar. Wow. You're all like pricks, aren't you? Okay. Idiots. There was a shop that sold supplies somewhere. There. There's a sh I think that's 
maybe weapons. Good day, sir. Good day, sir. Who are you? Hello, friend. Wasn't that a wonderful speech? I'd like to stay and chat, but I must get back to my shop. Should you need any provisions, come by and see me. Go bravely. Hello, friend. If you need supplies, please come by my shop. Okay. You better be now in your shop. That would be really useful. Better yet, can I, like, steal stuff from your shop? I'm the avatar. I can steal what I want. What the hell was that? Anything worth nicking. So you're actually useless to me. And for whatever reason, you ain't gonna come back to your shop. So, can't buy any provisions yet. Ah, oh, that was the pub. Blacksmith, who appears to be stood on his forge, as you do. That ain't how it works, mate. Pardon me. Can you make a sword from black rock? What? Sorry, mate. But that's a bit beyond my abilities. Tell you what, though. There's a fellow down in Trinsic who works Why would all I sorts just of ask exotic that? materials. Oh, the blue. Name's Rupert. Well, he's your man for something like that. Well, hello, mate. How are you, then? The name's Giovanni. I'm the blacksmith around here. I've got all manner of weapons. Armor? Anything the adventurous sort might need. What do you say then? Go on in and have a look about. Just talk to my wife, Olwen, if you want to buy. Is this the shop? Marksmanship by Yolo Fitzowen. The Zen shoot well, come on the above. Play your mind of all thoughts. Said that I've climbed with the arrow to strike the target, and you will not miss. Probably will. There's nobody in any of the shops. Two arrows. Up again with his little dance. What there should be is somebody laid over there with an arrow in him. Okay, so really we need to go to the dungeon, don't we? said leave by the east then go north didn't he look at what you just did did you not see that pile of dirt 
You just kicked and spread it all over. <laughs> Boobs. Keller mentioned magic in Lance Armour, there's a fellow down Trinzik, Jack Collins, Jeremy Shaw, blah blah blah, blah, blah. tell me where the column is. Just go east gate of Britain, stay on the road, we'll get to the intersection. I do know that it actually says I'm on patch 1.19F, but this is actually patch 1.19H. It doesn't actually recognize that. So people can get part pop yeah, carted off just for loitering now, can they? Oh, a little doggy following me. Struck Commander. Term is a fanciful story of a man who, along with several comrades, gains access to a flying vehicle, much like a cart, and uses his abilities to fight terrorists and robotic monarchs who employ mercenaries using their own flying car. Strike Commander. And I'm sure that book was in Ultima 7. I think I've already got those. Yes. Ooh. Oh, it's actually worse. Oh, of course. Because what? I've got a chain there, haven't I? So I don't actually need the leather helmet. It is fairly gold. East to reach the intersection. Where are you? Compassion be with you. <sighs> Greetings, Avatar. I am ah. Sarah, the keeper of the shrine. What's left of it, at least. Surely you have been sent here to put things right. I have. What do you mean, put things right? Oh, Avatar. Surely you have seen how Britain has been corrupted. What was once the city of compassion. Has He's going to come over here and attack me. Selfish people. And Britain is not alone. All over Britannia, the virtues and the people who once followed them have been perverted. I thought he was going to come there. Why is Britain so lacking in compassion? I am not sure of the cause, but I know one thing. The city lost its virtue when the shrine became corrupted. These occurrences cannot be a coincidence. I feel certain that if the shrine is cleansed, the city will return to its virtue. Ooh, I think that's a clue. How does one cleanse the shrine? I'm not sure. I'm certain that meditating at the shrine is part of the solution, but I also know that there is more. You should go and consult the shrine. Perhaps it will tell you, the champion of virtues, what it could not tell me. What can you tell me about the columns? I know that they are evil. Shortly after their appearance, I had a dream in which I saw the columns erupt from the ground. My vision then took me deep into the dungeon of Despise, where I saw the column piercing into the deepest reaches of the dungeon. Finally, 
I saw the runes of the virtue being corrupted and twisted into evil glyphs. After that, my vision faded. I know nothing more than what my vision revealed to me, Avatar. What is a sigil? A sigil is the embodiment of a virtue. Each of the shrines has a corresponding sigil. The sigil of compassion was kept in the city, but went missing just prior to the corruption of That's the shrine. What it was. If you can find the sigil, Avatar, I am certain sigil that it will help you to cleanse the shrine. Goodbye, Sarah. Oh, I almost forgot. To get to the shrine, or whatever is left of it, just take this road a little farther to the east and follow the path into the mountains. Goodbye, Avatar. May the virtues guide you.